Hello, today in this video we're going to show you how to make a wigwam plant support for your beans and any other plants. Welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we'd like to help you develop your gardening skills by showing you some different propagation techniques, growing some vegetables, a little bit of pest control and much much more. By using the everyday plants here in our Somerset garden we can show you plant care throughout the seasons so that your plants continue to be healthy and robust for you to enjoy throughout the year. If you like learning these things do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button, there's no charge and don't forget to press the all important notification bell it just lets you know every time we upload a new video good morning lovely day again we did sow some runner beans a little while ago they've come on really well now and it we're, we're almost into june so there's no no risk of frost especially down here so they need to go outside and and i said when i when i sowed these that i'd show you how to make a wigwam to grow them up and that's what we're going to do today so before i can do much with these i have to get the the wigwam set up now wigwams, <laughs> really it's just three or four, uh, up, uh, about six canes uh, put together and tied at the top. Um, we're lucky that we ha actually have quite a lot of hazel growing in the in hedge around us and uh, I, I can cut hazel. But you could do this equally well uh, with, with ordinary canes. But I'm going to put, all, I'm going to put the canes in before I, I do the beans because I don't want to risk damaging them. So these are going to go back into the shade for a minute just to hang on and we'll now start to put the 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 the, the, uh, the sticks in, in for, for, for the for the wigwams. Now we we are actually growing these in in containers, as you can see. Um, but of course, you could equally well have a row of, of wigwams across the garden and grow them in the open ground. If you were growing them in the open ground, I'd suggest that you actually tie them all in together to help them be a bit more more supportive. Okay, so this this one is going to go right in the corner. Down he goes. Then it needs quite underneath there, that will hold nicely and uh, hang on there for a moment. Now, these containers, they're quite big containers and uh, you, know, I, 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 you know, it takes a lot of compost to, to fill them up. So what I've done with these is actually, uh, I filled the bottom half with good garden compost and I've actually put a little bit of topsoil on the top there and then I put some decent proper potting compost on top of that just to keep it quite, uh, at least so it's not, not quite so expensive uh, and bearing in mind it's a big pot to fill. So here we go, we're now going to get another, we've got six beans so we want six of these um, canes to go round. So let's put that one up and try him. Try, I mean because these are bent I'm going to try and get them so they'll go out and in as it were to make a proper wig web. So there you are, I've got my six canes together, I've got six plants, one up each one, and all I need to now do is to get up there and just tie that together, hold it all in, just to, just to secure it and that'll give the beans plenty of things to grow up. So. The twine or ordinary garden twine, I should really, uh, green would be better but the white will soon lose its, uh, its uh, whiteness shall we say and, and uh, mellow in. Bring it around, tie them all in together, and there you are. That's what you want. You bring the string down around. You give it a bit of security. And remember that where if you're growing them out in a row, they'll be exposed to the wind. Here, I'm really lucky. I'm in a very, very sheltered spot, and I've also got these old uh, frames I can use. So it's nice and easy for me. But just just make sure that it's it's secure when you plant it out, when you, when you stake them out. And if you've got them in a row across the garden, put some length, some laterals just to hold them all together. But that's going to be fine for, 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 for what I'm looking for here. So, just the question now of planting. And that's nice and easy here, the little plants. Put them this side of the cane in this case, at the right depth, they don't want to be too deep. Um, firm them in, and when they start to twine, you'll just twist them around there. They'll, 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 they'll soon get going. There's another one, nice little roots coming on that one. They'll soon take away. I'm going to put him up there and that can twist around there. Uh, 
as they grow up you'll see they'll start to twine just give them a helping hand just push them around the you can tie them if you want to but I always find that after a while they'll find their own way up now what I'm going to do now of course is give them a thoroughly good water and then I'm actually going to put a bit of shade on because it's quite a hot day and uh, help them get going a bit of shade will be a really good thing Thank you very much for joining us in our Somerset Garden. We very much enjoyed having you. And if you enjoyed that and would like to learn some more, do press the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you in the next video.